Hi guys, um, today's video demonstration is to show you how to take our features here that's line, point and polygon layers from AppMap and be able to upload them to our GPS um, when we work like this in our in the ArcGIS environment, we may need to take some of this information into our GPS and go and do some ground truthing on the field. So if you look at my map already made GPS upload, I have my site locations here, I have my link road here, I have my dam. Now each of these represents a kind of feature. The site locations are points, the link road is a line, feature while the jam as you can see is a polygon feature let me move a bit closer the jam here is a polygon feature and what we want to do is to upload this data as waypoints routes and tracks into our gps so basically we are going to use dnr gaming to do that in our dnr gaming the first thing we do is fire we load from instead of file as we are used to we go to database this time we add a new database we call this s3 file geo database the connection will be app map for gps so now our path now your path must be where your files are our files are inside our ibadon major road you must get the path right if not it will make up now the connection string is c ibadon major road test connection here this connection is successful so that means we're connected another thing you must remember that to make sure that your app map is on while you are trying to link your app map must be on while you are trying to link so that's it here those are the layers in app map for gps you have the site locations let's go back to that we have site locations leak road and dam actually what it's going to do is to bring out almost every layer inside that particular folder so we still have a layer called site but this doesn't have anything to do with us we will just click on it if possible remove it but once it comes that it comes connected together so the first thing we want to do is to take our link road remember the link road so we say okay it has for the name we put name here and it comes in again as a track now that's still the problem Problem with the same issue we encountered in Google Earth. Also, App Map only recognizes the track and the waypoint feature, so we have to do the necessary. We will convert this to routes again and then come here, clear this table. So we now have routes here. We have these routes here as shape files, not as GPX files. So, so we, we need, need to convert, convert this to GPS files. Um, we could always use our desktop again. Save to file GPS format. So we'll call it link road. And um, we'll save. And it will ask whether it's a waypoint, a track, or a route. It's a road. So we we'll say OK. So we we'll saved it. Basically, the next thing we do is come here. And, and upload to our, our GPS. GPS. Make, Make sure your GPS is connected. Come here to root upload. We call it link road. Let's see. Okay. It says upload complete. Let's go for a quick fact check. Uh, Gaming drive. Gaming folder. GPS folder. And that's link road there. Perfect. So, so that's just the that's just the way to bring it in fast using G DNR GPS. If you want, let's indulge again. Let's clear this table and let's bring in the waypoints this time. So we check up the waypoint here. We load from database. These are our database we've connected. Our waypoints are site location. We say okay name. 
Kui, 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 University Airport School, University and Pump House, and to do a further proof of that, let's come here, let's open the attribute table, we have University Airport School, University 2 and Pump House, so you see that it's all in order, it's the same points I'm playing with, and like I, like I said before, <coughs> This came in as shape point and uh, shape files, so we need to into save to file and save them in GPS exchange format. So once again, just simply save those at site locations on the desktop. Save and this time we click waypoints. So when we click waypoints here, we say okay, say file save successfully. So all we do again is come to waypoint, we say upload. This time we will call them sites and uh, say okay, upload complete. Fast fact check again. And, and that site beautiful so you have the site right inside the gps folder so if this is successfully truly successfully uploaded so that's just the way we transfer from our app map points polygon and lines and upload them straight to our gps thanks for listening feel free to send back your comments